What's up guys, it's Alex from Everyday Biking, and today I will be explaining high pivot suspension. Late last week, Trek released their latest rendition of their downhill mountain bike, the Trek Session. And while at first glance the bike might look like a session, a closer look will reveal a very strange path that the chain is taking and what looks like some out of place gears. Although this isn't the first bike to take on high pivot suspension, it is quite rare, and before making this video, even I didn't know that much about it other than that it existed. So what is it? In an oversimplification, high pivot raises the pivot point of your suspension. Instead of sitting right around your chain ring, it now moves way up the frame. However, because of the new position of the pivot, your chain will no longer be long enough to absorb bumps without severe kickback. To solve this, you put a second chain ring called the idler wheel up next to the newly raised pivot. With the new position of the pivot and chain route, your bike will better absorb bumps and have a significant increase in grip, something that would be extremely useful in downhill racing. Instead of your suspension moving in the opposite direction of an obstacle, it will now move in the same direction, once again improving absorption and grip. So if high pivot is so great, why doesn't every bike brand use it? Well, there's probably a couple reasons for this. Number one, cost. Drivetrains aren't designed for high pivot, and to successfully optimize something that's out of the ordinary, it's gonna cost you more money. Not to mention the extra cost of the either wheel, new chain route, and suspension design. Second, weight. The weight of the 2022 session is a whopping 37.65 pounds, whereas the 2021 aluminum session, without high pivot, comes in at 35.87 pounds. Now yes, that's not a huge difference, but in other disciplines other than downhill, that much of a weight increase would be huge. Third, pedaling performance. Unfortunately, the addition of an idler wheel and new chain route has been known to reduce the pedaling performance. Although this is less of a concern on downhill bikes, given the terrain they ride, lastly, the bike world isn't used to high pivot. It's been around for decades and yet still seems so incredibly foreign and new whenever a bike brand comes out with a high pivot bike. I would really love to ride a high pivot bike one day to really see how it impacts the feel of the ride, but for now, it's very much a niche and specialty item. So what do you guys think? Do you think that the high pivot design will ever become standard? Let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys found this short description useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join our Discord using the link in the description. Follow our Instagram at Everyday Biking, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya!